the still of the night, it's our turn. I'm trying to figure out who these players are still. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. They actually started. Okay. Uh, so it is. Um, Mr. X is the name for now. So we got Sabine plays uh, an A-Wing and then Mr. X plays <laughs> uh, the... Crafty Smuggler, and then a Greedo, round two. Oh, I got the real name. Nicholas Clark, okay. Wait. Nicholas, all right. All right, Nicholas is this guy's name. And Diana, I was right about, okay. All right. There we go. Everything's figured out. Now I can focus all on, on commentary. Uh, so A-Wing got taken out by McClunky, it looks like, and then the Boba got played back, and then Cassian out of hand from De Diana. And we're going into four resources here. Uh, I'm just going to start the timer now. Um, let's see. What's the official... Do they have the timer on Limitless? Or on, on one of these? I'm sorry. Keep getting lost. All right. So, um, looks like Dana played for a cause. Is that what happened? Uh, I couldn't quite see what was put on top. All right. Crafty Smuggler goes to base here. Diana has managed to, to get a lot of damage on board here. Uh, and Nicholas... Uh, Nicholas is playing the yellow version, so he doesn't have access to ramp. And Diana's going to go to base here. And then Metal Ceremony. That's big. So Nicholas is half dead, and he's facing down two big units on Diana's side. And we're going now into five resources which is where things can start getting rough. Sabine can start playing big things like Pose. On Nicholas's side, five resources, also the turn that Boba deploys. Ooh, Swoop Racer. That's interesting. Okay. And Fleet Lieutenant from Diana going into the base. That's 21 on Nicholas's base. And Viper Probe Droid shows Wrecker and Sabine. Cassian's going to go for four to base. And then <laughs> ECL Wrecker is going to be it next round. And Diana, I think, is going to take a, a quick game one here. All right, and we're going into the new round. ECL Wrecker into Greedo is six overwhelm damage, so. That'll be it. I just realized I, oh, what's she doing, Adelphi? I mean, yeah, that's game also. <laughs> uh, I don't have a way to track who won game one. Let's just set that up right now. That. Let's get the right font. 
boom. And then if we move that one all the way up here, uh, and they're going into sideboarding. Uh, zero. All right. There we go. Sorry. We're getting all these hiccups out of the way early. I think those are big numbers. Let's scale them down a little bit. And let's just do that. Okay. And it looks like they didn't do much sideboarding. That's uh, one of the quickest sideboards I think I've ever seen happen. And we're going right into game two. Uh, look at the list that the TO sent me. I don't actually see a sideboard for Nicholas. <laughs> and I don't have Diana's list. Okay. Well. Is Loopy playing in this? Loopy is playing in this. Uh, I believe he's on Sabine as well. All right, uh, Greedo and Marine. No McClunky for Nicholas, but I mean the Greedo trades with with the Marine fine. And what do we got? Bodhi. Okay. Uh, Bodhi's gonna hit Metal Ceremony here. I mean that's you know could be worse. I probably would have attacked first though. Uh, there's so many punishes to, to leaving that Marine open. Even just like it going to base is kind of a punish in and of itself. But I mean like red three wing leader, or I guess red three is not a punish, but wing leader is, a uh, fleet lieutenant is. And Diana goes for the red three. And did Nicholas just claim and not attack the Marine at all? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> maybe he's maybe he has a McClunky in his hand that he's holding and wants to use it to snipe the red three. That's my only thought. Maybe he's got like cunning and he's gonna exhaust both of them and, and go for a buff play. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yep, oh, yep, there's McClunky. So that's gonna take out the red three. Boba readies a resource. Uh, he does actually have to bounce the Greedo. You don't just get to. Or yeah, I don't think Bodhi's not in Underworld, is he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fleet Lieutenant from Diana. Taking Nicholas the 10. Three for Boba. Sabine pings before the flip. Okay. Going into five resources here. I can't see Diana's hand, so I don't know if she has a Poe. Uh, Nicholas is, I mean, he's taking a lot of damage, but he does also have a lot of units out. 
And we're starting with Cunning. That's a pretty good one. What's the play going to be? Looks like Exhaust Sabine and Marine and then discard a card. All right. And Wrecker. That's a pretty good hit. And oh, but she has another one in hand and a Poe. That is rough. I, I think discard there makes sense, but Diana just had the perfect hand to punish up. All right, Boba gets flipped here. And Poe comes down, presumably with the ECL. Oh, maybe even not with ECL. Uh, nope, it is with the ECL. All right, so it looks like... Hard to tell what's going on here. She discarded the Wrecker, and it looks like he was pointing at Greedo, but also pointing at Boba. So maybe she's going deal two to the Greedo, attack the Boba. Maybe she's just going to defeat the Boba fully. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So, I mean, this was kind of a risky play here. Diana discarded her last card, I think. I don't think she has anything left. Um, and the Poe is vulnerable to dying here. So Greedo goes into the Fleet Lieutenant. Greedo dies, or oh, into the Marine, sorry, and misses the hit. If that had hit, that would have been big. We're gonna see Boba, the unit, probably take out Sabine. All right, yep, that's what happens. Boba was able to deal the damage first. And then Bodhi has to take out Poe. Oh, Bodhi takes out Fleet? Does he even... I mean, he might have a McClunky. There's... Oh, no. So the Poe's just alive. I think that's a, a horrible mistake on, on Nicholas's part. Um, That might end up costing him the game. Poe's going to hit for 8 to the base, up to at least 6, possibly 8. Um... You you can't let that happen. And it looks like eight to the base, yeah. Although Diana is still struggling here. No cards left in hand. Six resources. Maybe she has a Cassian under those resources. That would be big if she did. Nicholas is going to go six resources for fire spray. And Diana's looking at her resources. That's some, he says Cassian. Yep. Fire spray goes to base, but I mean, Nicholas has done almost no damage. That's three from Cassian. And that's two Sabine pings from Lethal here. All right. Uh, but Diana doesn't even do that. She just takes initiative. <laughs> And that's going to be an attack for lethal. Wow, big mistake by Nicholas killing the fleet lieutenant instead of the Poe. 